So I said, let's dump, let's dump, let's dump, let's dump, let's Halfling is, halfling is, halfling is, halfling is. Oh my god, it's halfling is time. Let's get my halflinger. Oh, I don't know what to name it. Oh my god. Halfling is. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is perfect. I don't care about you, Storm Letter. <gasps> Are they here? <gasps> They're here. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> I do like this one, the light one, like this one with that mane. Oh, that's cute. Actually, that one, oh, that looks nice with that mane, though. Uh, I can't choose! Okay, let's go check out the ones at Fort Pinto with um, Woody, and then... <gasps> Someone already has one. Oh, my God. I don't know which one to choose, guys. Oh my god. I have a couple of names in mind, so I do have a couple of names in mind, so that just depends on which one I choose. But I just can't choose. They don't have a special move. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. That is very disappointing. The Halflinger is a breed developed in Austria and Northern Italy that traced its ancestry back to the Middle Ages. Now, all Halflingers trace their lineage to one foundation sire, Folly, born in 1874. Originally bred for use in mountainous terrain, the hardy halflingers were sometimes used as a military pack horse. Your Oregon breeders envisioned a happier life for the, their animals and hope you will fall in love with these beauties. A steady horse of a kind temperament, this companion is perfect for many disciplines, including western dressage, jumping, working, equation, and carriage driving. Their distinguishing features are a chestnut coat and a flaxen mane that can be worn long and wavy, intricately braided, or even short and messy. Whoa, maybe you and your horse rock the same style. I do kind of prefer her, but I don't prefer her with that mane. If I'm going to get that mane, I'd give this guy. It shows it off better. So if I'm going to get that mane, if I'm going to get this one, I might as well just leave her like this. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Hi. I don't know, guys. The Halflinger is a breed developed in Austria and Northern Italy that traced its ancestry back to the Middle Ages. Now, all Halflingers trace their lineage to one foundation sire, Folly, born in 1874. Originally bred for use in mountainous terrain, the hardy Halflingers were sometimes used as a military pack horse. Your Oregon breeders envisioned a happier life for the their animals and hope you will fall in love with these beauties. A steady horse of a kind temperament, this companion is perfect for many disciplines, including western dressage, jumping, working, equation, and carriage driving. Their distinguishing features are a chestnut coat and a flaxen mane that can be worn long and wavy, intricately braided, or even short and messy. Whoa, maybe you and your horse rock the same style. I do kind of prefer her. But I don't prefer her with that mane. If I'm going to get that mane, I'd give this guy. It shows it off better. So if I'm going to get that mate, if I'm going to get this one, I might as well just leave her like this. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Hi. I don't know, guys. I don't know. The halflingers are out. And you're thinking of getting one. But you look at me for advice. Well, my advice is, don't listen to me. Anyway. I don't know if I like the new halflingers. Like, okay. Yes, I've already been looking at them. So this one's the dark one, so that should be changed here. So, they're gorgeous creatures, and they're beautiful, and amazing and I just something like something about them that I just can't bring myself to buy like why do I want 
to buy why should I buy one? Like okay. There's not really anything that makes me want to buy them other than the fact they're half wingers and I love half wingers. Like they're they're cute. I will give them that, but they do not have a they do not have a special move, and they do not have a special gait. So being 900 star coins is kind of expensive for a horse that does not have a special move or a special gait. Here, I'll show off the floor here. With, um, oh, she's moving. See, the, the tail is just a bit weird. I find that, I don't know, I just, I do not know if I really like these horses or not. And it's, it's kind of hard to decide because, well, I mean, for that tack, it's gorgeous, but it's just, it's just difficult. I, my honest opinion is, you buy one if you want one. Like, they're gorgeous things, and they are gorgeous, and oh my goodness. I wonder what bridle it is. I need that bridle. Black rope bridle. Halter. Anyway. Yeah, I, I definitely think you should get one if you can. Like, they're gorgeous horses who... I think they're beautiful, but it's just, I'm probably not going to get one. Just because I think it's 900 star coins is way too much for a halfling. Like, halfling without a special move, without, let's look at this one because there's not many people looking at it. Like, without a special move or without, like, without anything, I don't think it's worth it. I would much rather spend my money on the campos, which doesn't have a special move or a special gate. It actually kind of looks ugly. But, come on, turn back, you dumb horse. There we go. It kind of looks ugly, but I'd much rather spend my money on this thing than those guys. Because this campos, I've been waiting for to come back for ages, but these halflingers will be there forever. So, my honest opinion, get the campos. If you like the campos, get the campos rather than the halflingers. The halflingers will be here forever. So, I don't think it's... I'm not going to get one now. I definitely do prefer this horse, and I'm definitely going to use this horse a bunch. But for halflingers, I just... Maybe in a couple of weeks I'll have a better opinion of them, but I just don't really like them, if that makes sense. Like, if we go and have a look at the um gates over here, so let's quickly head back. If we go and have a look at the gates, there's just something off. Like, watch. That looks fine, that's beautiful. But look at the tail. There is something off about this, and it just... I don't know what. Like, I love this mane style on it. But just that just looks off. That looks so off, and I don't like it. So I don't know if I like the halflings. Like, they're adorable. I really want one. Like, I did really want one before I saw them in game, and then I was like, uh. Like, it's kind of hard to put the feeling in words because the halflingers are just not for me. I think that's what I'm going to phrase it as. The halflingers are not for me. They're for everyone else. Like, I feel like that a lot of other people like them, and if you like them, then go ahead and buy one. They're definitely a gorgeous horse, and I think Star Stable did really well with like, um, making the models. The models are gorgeous. But I just don't like some of the animations, and. They're just not for me at the moment. Out of everything, I think I'll... If I do end up getting a Halflinger, I'll probably get the dark one, the really dark one, or the really light one, one of the two. And with that, I'll probably um just like not even make a video on make, getting one. But yeah. I, my honest opinion is... They're meh for me. I don't dislike them. I don't like them. I'm in the middle. I just... Yeah, it's hard to put it in words. They're gorgeous horses who are beautiful. I just don't particularly want to get one. So yeah, maybe one day I'll get one, but for now, I'm not going to get one. Thanks for um, watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <gasps> oh my god, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> there they are. <gasps> the Manta Race! Oh my god! Look at this gorgeous horse! I think you're a beautiful stallion. I don't have a name for it! 
This is it, guys. I'm buying Miracle Keeper. <gasps> Hi! Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous boy. <gasps> oh, this is me handsome. I'm going to write him now. The swirling seas around the island of Jorvik are teeming with magic and mystery, and from those waters emerge the iridescent horse known as a campos. You'll find the serene campos in the deepest depths of the ocean, diving underwater in search of hidden treasures in the seabed. Prolonged swimming in the cool ocean has made the campos resolute by nature. These are the ideal companions who need to keep calm in the face of danger, but this can sometimes be to a fault as they can be stubborn. Your eager seafarers share fascinating tales of magical seahorses that only appear and when dire need. In the disastrous events of a shipwreck, the victims that tread, tread the waters often find themselves washed up in the Jorvigan shores completely unscathed. The last thing they remember is being pulled out of the seas by a noble iridescent horse, saving them from drowning. They call these horses the Campos, and after the mythical logical creature called the Hippocampus. The origin of this magical horse is a mystery, but some whisper of a once lost uh, is islet of the southeast of Jorvik, where magic horses roams free, until one tragic day when they land sunk into the ocean, leaving the horses without a home. They say the campos that have stepped ashore in Jorvik are descendants of the horses from this fabled islet. Like other magic horses in Jorvik, Campos show its true colours in wild places and will conceal its appearance in populated areas. When it, whether it's in magical form or disguise blend of other horses, Campos rides just like the Alcatraic it most resemble. So, I bought a horse. Of course I did. What do you expect from me? I, of course I bought a horse. I love this thing. It's gorgeous. I love it so much and it's so cute and I love it and I love it and I love it. It doesn't have a special move, so... It, it's a bit expensive for not having a special move. But, and I hate the Alcatakes, but this actually makes them look kind of nice. Definitely do enjoy it. I'm not touching the um the special thing, because, like, this thing, because, uh, look at that thing. Uh, I don't like that. That just looks naked. Looks like it's naked. No thanks. Yeah. But you know how fun it is? To <gasps> there's a higher one. Oh my god, there's a higher one. There's a higher one. Okay, let's go try this jump. Okay, let's go, 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 come on. Oh, I fell off. Fell on Talon. I love my fish horse. It's so cute. Alright, let's try this. <gasps> oh, I love that. Oh, so yeah, I do quite like this horse. Definitely prefer it over the halflings at the moment. So yeah, I'm glad they came back. This has been my dream horse, like, ever since I saw one. Definitely wanted one, so they're cute. So yeah. I think that's gonna be it for today, so yeah. See you later. Bye!